Hello. Hola, ¿me escucha? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you? Fine. And you? Nice. I was testing the audio to check if you can hear me. Okay. Okay. Let's wait few more minutes just to see if everybody's here. Hello, good evening. Hello. Hello, good evening. How are you? I'm fine. And you? I'm very well. Oh, Welcome good. To the English class for today. Ahí estamos. Vamos a esperar solo un par de minutos para ver si los demás se van uniendo. Okay. Good. Hola, hola. Hello. Hello. How are you? Hey. Hello. Yes, yes. Nice. <laughs> Welcome to the English class. Thank you. Good. Okay, hello everybody. We're going to start. So my name is Eric, Eric Asensio, and I will be your teacher for this module. So if you have questions, if you want more homework, if you need anything, I will be here for you. Okay, it will be a pleasure to, uh, to be with you as a general direction. Uh, they told me that you need to, to have your name just as in the doing there in your um, here in the platform also please enable the camera um, we're going to 
maybe for first of all introduce ourselves and get to know each other. Uh, si algo no se entiende, si quieren que les repita, si necesitan cualquier cosa, pues ya sea acá en el chat también se puede, me pueden escribir también privado, ahí está eh, mi nombre, mi número y me pueden escribir y será un gusto poder ayudarles. Eh, preguntas, dudas, estamos a la orden, ya sea en la plataforma, en, en el contenido o cosas que están fuera también de, del contenido me las pueden hacer y será un, un gusto poder ayudarles. So, veo que sí ya están entrando a la mayoría. So probably we're going to start by introducing ourselves. Of course, I will be the first one. So I'm going to tell a little bit about myself so you can continue. My name is Eric. I live in uh, Santa Ana. I work for Google. Uh, and also I like to teach English. It's very, very good for me, that experience. I like music a lot. I like to play the guitar drums and um, I like to read, I like to watch movies and um, well if you need anything, we're friends, you can ask anything. So who wants to be next? That's the question. Anybody? Okay, okay go ahead. Omar. Yes, yes, please. <laughs> okay. Uh, hello, my name is Omar Ayala. I'm 38 years old. I live in Santa Tecla and I like to play guitar too and see movies and series and on Netflix. And um, uh, okay. Um, okay. <laughs> Thank you, Omar. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Okay, who wants to be next? Me. Okay, please, Brenda. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Brenda. I'm 29 years old. I work in the World Vision El Salvador. Uh, I live in Antiguo Cuscatlán. My hobbies are play basketball, uh, go to the movie theater with my friends, and listen to music. And watch movies. Very good. Thank you. Nice Thank to you. meet you. Perfect. Who wants to be next now? Hi, teacher. Okay, go ahead, please. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Um, my name is Carlos. Um, 40, 44 old year. Um, I work. Um, I work. And degree public accounting. Um, I play. I play uh, football, basketball, and cyclic, cyclovia, cyclovia. No? Uh, um, I I like see um, play soccer. Uh, Real Madrid. <laughs> Good. Nice. <laughs> nice to meet you, Carlos. Nice to meet you, teacher. Okay, who wants to be next? Me? Okay, please go ahead. Hi, everyone. My name is Francisco Lazaro. I live in Santa Ana. I like to play football. I like to play basketball, volleyball, too. I like to listen to music. I work in Criaves Farms, and nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Welcome to the English class. Nice, perfect. Thank you. Okay, we have a few more. Who wants to be next? Anybody? Nobody. Bueno, vamos a preguntar. Okay. Entonces. Okay, a ver, um, Brenda Sandoval. Hello, my name is Brenda Karina Sandoval. And I live in Metapan. Uh, my life is, um, me gusta listen to music, listen. and watching TV. Okay. 
eh, Sweeney. Nada. Vamos a ver. Um, I like... I am teacher en parvulario. No sé cómo se dice en inglés. Uh, that is like kindergarten or something like that. Ah, ok. Sí, eso es educación parvular. Um, bueno, una de mis metas... Ay, no lo puedo decir así en inglés. Okay. Es seguir aprendiendo más inglés y mejorar la pronunciación, que es lo que me cuesta. Ok. Right. Y lo entiendo y también la escritura se me hace fácil, pero la pronunciación se me cuesta. Okay. Eso es uno de mis propósitos, mejorar. Bueno, vamos a practicar entonces. Vamos a hablar bastante. Ok. Ok. Thank you. Okay. Nice to meet you, Brenda. Nice to meet you. Ok. Who wants to be next? Any volunteer? Me. Ok, please go ahead. Uh, uh, my name is Brian. I'm 22 years. And I like uh, draw and play the guitar. I, uh, I live in the Pecoyo La Libertad. Perfect. Nice to meet you, Brian. Ok. Ok, anybody else? Any other person? Let's see uh, Gerardo. O Gerardo es verdad. Hello, everybody. Hello. My name is Gerardo Alfaro. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Um, I like to see a movie and series. I live in San Vicente. I am 27 years old. Perfect. Nice to meet you, Hart. Nice to meet you too. Good. Now, let's see who's missing. Uh, Flor. Hello, my name is Flor. I live in Metapam. I am 27 years old. I work in travel agency. Perfect. Nice to meet you, Flo. Nice to meet you, too. Okay, let's see um, who else is. Esmeralda. Hello. No sé si los demás le escuchan, pero yo no le escucho. Nothing at all. Hola. Hello, Nausi. Hello. Hello, everybody. <laughs> My name is Esmeralda Orellana. Uh, I live in Soyapango. I have a bachelor in business administration, okay. but uh, the moment I am a housewife and teacher with my, with my younger sister. I love listen to music and Mexican food. Good, perfect. Nice to meet you, Esmeralda. Nice to meet. Okay, who else? Let's see. Marcela Linares. Uh, good night. Good evening. Uh, my name is Marcela Linares. I live in Cincinnati. Uh, I'm really interested about all uh, learning about different uh, topics. Uh, I really love music and that's all. Okay, nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you. Uh, ¿Quién nos queda? A ver, Beatriz. Hi, teacher. Hello. My name is Beatriz Erazo. I am 21 years old. I live in San Salvador. I am a student and I like soccer and cooking. Very good. Interesting. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. queda? Creería Daphne Pineda. Hi everyone, my name is Daphne Pineda. I'm 20 years old. And my favorite hobby is reading, read, reading books. And uh, I am a student and one of my expectations for this level is to improve my English. And I'm glad to be here again. Good, welcome, nice to meet you. Thank you, nice to meet you too. Ok, creo que nos falta muy poca gente. A ver, Erika.
open you. No, está. Ok, ahí está. Hello. Hello, how are you? I'm here. Sorry, good evening. Good evening. And hi, my name is Erika Sanchez. I live in San Miguel. I'm 25 years old. And I'm a student. Perfect. Nice to meet you, Erika. Nice to meet you, too. Eh, a ver, Jenny Escobar. Hi, good evening. Good evening. My name is Jenny Orellana. I live in Ciudad Delgado. I work as administrative assistant. Okay. Uh, I am 40 years old. I like to watch series and movies. Very good. Nice to meet you, Jenny. Nice to meet you, too. I guess the last one is Jacqueline Squad. Hi, my name is Jacqueline Escobar. I live in Sarapango. Uh, 23 years. I like listen to music. Perfect. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Okay. Eh, ¿Ustedes estaban juntos en el, en el periodo pasado o ha ido cambiando el grupo? No sé ha si ido cambiando. Son... Va cambiando, teacher. Algunos sí que nos conocemos. Ok. Sí. Bueno, pues en primer lugar, bienvenida. Eh, quisiera saber si todos tienen acceso ya a la plataforma. Esa es, el, ya es la primera pregunta. ¿Todos tienen? ¿Usted no, Esmeralda? No, no. Fíjese que de por sí ahora en la tarde le escribí a Jackson. Y le dije de por qué no puedo entrar. Ingreso el correo, la contraseña. Lo ingreso desde el correo que ellos me enviaron pero tampoco puedo. Entonces estoy esperando respuesta. Tal vez mañana me, okay, me contesta y bueno, puedo ingresar. Y cualquier cosa me avisa. Sí, gracias. A ver, los demás, no sé si todos pudieron entrar. Teacher. A todos. Yes, teacher. Ok. Teacher. Sin problemas. Nice. Eh, bueno, eh, vamos a ir iniciando los uh, topics, los temas. Eh, yo casi siempre trato de ir explicando, ya sea en español o en inglés, si es que ustedes no entienden, pero ya el preintermedio es un poquito más de inglés. Igual vamos a tratar de hacer algunas prácticas en las que ustedes van a leer un poco más, van a hablar un poco más, porque lo interesante es ir usando la gramática, ir mejorando la pronunciación. Eh, igual no, no tengan pena, ¿verdad? Aquí nadie es perfecto, hasta yo me puedo equivocar, ¿verdad? Eh, y um, estamos para ayudarnos, si necesitan, como les decía, algo, estamos a la orden. Y eh, bueno, vamos a, a iniciar. Uh, probably the first thing that I would like to do is to, um, to remember a little bit about the simple present tense. Do you remember that? Mm, Maybe. Poquito. <laughs> okay. The simple mm, present tense is very, very important. It's important because it's like the base mm -hmm. and it's um, one of the most common tenses. So, the first question is, when do we use the simple present tense? Do you remember that? ¿Cuándo utilizamos el presente simple? ¿En qué situaciones? When. ¿Me pueden decir ideas? No importa si está mal o bien. Vamos a ver qué recuerdan. Mm. Ah, se borró en la Navidad. Eh. <laughs> bueno, hay que recordar entonces en primer lugar. I'm going to try in English. Please uh, remember that the simple present tense is for habits. Something that you do and repeat. is not... For something that you are doing in the moment. No. It's for uh, facts and the actions that you usually do. Okay? Remember, that is very, very important. Okay. Ahora, esta parte se dice en español. ¿Cuáles son las reglas del presente simple? Do you remember that? Grammar rules. ¿Qué pasa en el presente simple? ¿Qué le pasa al verbo? Por ahí. En afirmativo, iniciamos con the affirmative tense. When you, the verb, use in the base form. Uh -huh. In the third person, uh, do you add the S? Very good. That is it. In the third person, 
in affirmative, we are going to add S, sometimes ES, to the verb. Okay? Do you remember that? So now, what happens in the, in the questions? What do we do? Add do or does. Do or does. That is an auxiliary, right? If you change the auxiliary, the verb does not change. That is important as well. And it's kind of similar to the negative. What happens to the negative? Do you remember? No. I'm sorry? Button. Don't do, don't, and doesn't, doesn't. Doesn't. Very good. So that is it. We are going to change into negative the auxiliary. We are not going to change the verb either. Just remember that um, everything changes only with the third person. He, he, he. Other than that, it's going to be do, or we're going to use the base form of the verb. Good. Questions about that? Okay. El primer tema yo creería que es repaso también, si más no recuerdo. Es algo que se vio ya en los módulos anteriores, pero es lo que iniciamos, lo que vamos a repasar. Okay? So I'm going to present you my screen so we can start with that. Let me know if you see my, my screen. ¿Te mira la pantalla? Yes. Yes, it is. Okay. Yes, I can see. Yes. So the first topic for this module is adverbs of frequency. Okay. I guess that you know this already. So adverbs of frequency, um, we use that to define how often you do something. Um, and there is like a little graphic for you to remember, right? That always is a hundred percent. So you can say, I always study after class. Usually around 90, right? I usually want to work for example. Normal that is like 80, that is less. I normally get good marks. And then we have often or frequently. Okay, that is around 70%. I often read in bed at night. Okay, around Half of it is going to be sometimes, that is 50%. Like uh, when you say I sometimes sing in the shower. Well, actually, I, I do so. <laughs> uh, then we have 30% that is occasionally. I occasionally go to bed late. Then we have seldom that is not that common. I seldom put salt on my food. Then we have 5% uh, that is... Yeah, sorry. Yeah, go ahead. Um, what is seldom? Okay, in Spanish we don't have a word for that. No tenemos una palabra en español para eso, pero viene siendo como rara veces. Es bastante parecido a rarely. Sin embargo, no existe una palabra que sea exactamente seldom en, en español. Okay. Eh, vamos a repasar y luego si, si vamos a ver si hay vocabulario nuevo. A mí me gusta traer mucho vocabulario porque pues es algo que nos ayuda a andar. So we're going to check into that. And uh, but then we have hardly ever and rarely. I hardly ever get angry. That's not true, but anyways. And then we have 0%. Never, right? Vegetarians never eat meat. So this is, as I understand, like a review. But do you understand all of the adverse of frequency? Always, usually, frequently, generally. Is there any question? about the usage of the adverse of frequency? Tenemos preguntas en el uso? Okay, if there is no questions, we are going to check some vocabulary. Vamos a hacer un ejercicio en todo el módulo. Yo le voy a preguntar el significado de una palabra. Así, pues, el voluntario, quien quiera participar, o a veces vamos a preguntar puntualmente, para que me explique qué significa la palabra, pero me lo va a tratar de explicar en inglés. So, for example, si yo le digo, uh, what is a TV? Que es algo muy fácil. Usted me puede decir de muchas maneras. Me puede decir, oh, a TV is 
an electronic device for entertainment. Or a TV is something that we use to watch movies. O sea, no hay una manera incorrecta, media vez se entienda. Any question about the exercise? ¿Alguna pregunta con este ejercicio? Que vamos a hacer todo el módulo. No questions. Ok. So, what is my friends? Um, um, something easy. What is to study? Stu yeah, go ahead, Omar. Study. Yeah. Study is uh, when I learn something. Very good. When you start learning okay. something and you do a process or anything like that. Okay. Okay. Uh, in the 80% it says I normally get good marks. What do you believe is marks or mark in this situation? Anybody? No, nobody. Okay, in this case, it's like when you are running and you are taking your time. So that is a good mark. When you do that very fast, it's a good mark. Si yo les explico algo y no lo entienden, me pueden decir, me pueden interrumpir, puede decirlo en español y yo con mucho gusto se lo digo. Es muy importante quizás en el inglés primero entender. Entender cómo se utiliza, por qué, por qué de esta manera. Y luego, como cualquier otra cosa, como cuando aprendemos a manejar un vehículo, practicar. Practice is very important. Así de que, si no entienden algo, please tell me, ¿ok? Y si yo le explico y no lo entiende, se lo vuelvo a explicar de otra manera. That is not a problem. Y luego practicamos sin miedo. ¿verdad? Ok, so let's continue. Uh, is everything clear with marks? Ok. So we have, and let me see another one. What is shower? And sometimes it says, I sometimes sing in the shower. What is shower? When you wet your body. <laughs> yeah, when you go wash your body, right? In the morning, when you wake up. Very good, thank you. Then we have, let's see, uh, what is it to be angry? When you're not happy. Yeah, the opposite of happy. Definitely right. Good, good. Uh, what is to be a vegetarian? When one person uh, never eats meat. That is true. They don't eat meat. That is nice. Very good. At the end here, you can see that there is like a, a little formula about English. I mean, uh, subject, in this case it is Daniel, the adverb of frequency, that is always, and then the main verb passes, in this case with uh, ES because it's third person, and then the complement, right? Daniel always passes his exams, okay? And remember that you can also uh, can use the verb to be. He is always happy. So, do you see the difference there? En el verbo to be va antes. He is always happy. Va antes el verbo. Y luego va el adverbio de frecuencia. That is important. And in the other verbs, uh, you can say Daniel always passes. So the verb is after the adverb of frequency. Do you have any question about that? Alguna pregunta con eso? Claro como la horchata. Si hay preguntas, please go ahead and shoot me. Okay. Como no hay preguntas, vamos a practicar. Let's practice. So, I have here a little exercise. This is very easy. Uh, se, se mira la pantalla, si no se ve muy bien me avisan y lo hago grande. Okay. So, um, 
vamos a poner el adverbio de frecuencia donde corresponde. So, in the first one it says Mary goes shopping to the mall. How is going to be with the adverb of frequency usually? Anybody? Before the subject. Mary usually goes shopping to the mall. Okay. Mary usually goes shopping to the mall. What happens if I want to transform that into negative? How do we do that? Into a negative context. How you do how do you do that magic? Tenemos Mary usually goes shopping to the mall. In negative. Mary doesn't go uh, usually sh shopping to the mall. Okay, very close. That's good. That's good. So we say Mary doesn't. And after doesn't. Usually. Usually. Good. So it's going to be Mary doesn't usually go shopping to the mall. Nice. Si se fijan, vamos a ir metiendo también lo demás que hemos visto. Good, good. So letter B says, Emilia helps her parents with the housework. And we have sometimes. Who is going to be that? Hey, I'm a... Um, Amelia sometimes helps her parents with the housework. Very good. Nice. Uh, let's see. What is mall? Do you remember what is a mall? Anybody? In English? The of place. Course? The place when you shop in the everything. Clothes, uh, accessories, shoes, etc. <laughs> Very good. A mall is a place, a huge place with lots of stores where you can go and buy many things. And what is housework? Uh -huh. What is housework? Uh, like clean the house. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. It's when you clean the house, when you broom, mop, cleans everything. Nice. Let's go to letter C. We are late to school. Aha, uh -huh. how is it going to be? We are never late to a school. Very good. We are never late to school. Nice. Letter D. Mark is sad. And then we have hardly ever. Mark is hardly ever sad. Nice, good. Uh, what is sad? Do you remember? What is to be sad? When you're not happy. Yeah. Okay, but we say before that angry is when you're not happy. So what is the difference between sad and angry? What do you think? Can you repeat, please? Yes. Um, what is the difference uh, of being sad or angry? Because that we say before that angry is the opposite of happy, and sad is also the opposite of happy. So, what is the difference between sad? And angry. Uh, uh, sad is like passive and angry is uh, like violence. Very good. Thank you very much. Nice. Okay. So let's go to letter E. My sister goes swimming often. Who's going to be that? Oh. 
My sister often goes swimming. Very good. My sister often goes swimming. Nice. Letter F. Our teacher is very friendly. Well, usually. What's going to be that? Our teacher usually is very friendly. I'm sorry, could you please repeat? So it's letter F. Our teacher is very friendly and then usually. How is it gonna be? Our teacher usually is very friendly. Okay, nice. The next one is a negative one. David doesn't study the grammar reference before his tests. Often. So he's gonna be And David doesn't study often the grammar reference before the his test. Okay. Probably it's a little bit better. David doesn't often study the grammar reference before his tests. Uh, what is what is a test? I am always happy. I'm sorry. Okay, letter H, yes. I am always happy. I am always happy. Very good. Thank you. Happy. Is that true? Are you always happy? <laughs> okay. So, letter I. Elena reads the newspaper. Hardly ever. Who's going to be that? Elena hardly ever reads the newspaper. Very good. Elena hardly ever reads the newspaper. Letter J. How is it going to be that? Laura usually has breakfast with her family. Good, perfect. Nice. Then we have letter K. Uh -huh. My friends are often quiet, punctual. Punctual, very good. My friends are quiet, often punctual. Uh, quiet is very common in English. Uh, do you know what is quiet? The girls always buy new clothes at Christmas. Okay, that is letter L. That's nice. The girls buy new clothes at Christmas. And then always there. Always sometimes it's possible to put it at the end, but it's better to go in the other position. And the last one. Uh huh. Mike and his sister always, sister Al are always fighting for their remote. Remote, very good. Mike and sister always are fighting for the remote. What is a remote? Do you know what is that? The remote of TV. Yeah, for the TV, right. That happens. You want to see one thing and the other wants to see a different thing. Okay. Uh, do you have any question? Alguna pregunta de vocabulario? Alguna cosa que hayan visto rara acá? O que quisieran saber un poco más? Quiet punctual. Oh yeah, that's the one I was telling you about. Quiet punctual. Okay, quiet in this case is como mucho, bastante, bastante puntual. Okay, it's like an, a different adverb. Some, a different adverb. Okay. Tengo una pregunta. Ajá. Lo voy a decir en español para... para, para sí, ok. Eh, según lo, la lámina anterior, de, justo después del sujeto o el adverbio. Es así, ¿verdad? Es que escuché unos casos en el que se mencionó, por ejemplo... Lo puedo, sí, ahí dice sujeto más adverbio. Uh -huh. eh, ¿Puede pasar la, la otra, por favor? La, la última. Ok. Eh, pero escuché unos casos en el que decían, por ejemplo, eh, the, the girls buy always new clothes, por decirle algo. Eh, según le entiendo, siempre después del sujeto iría el adverbio, es así. En algunos casos es diferente. Eh, 
por ejemplo, en este always, sí tendría que ser así, como está en la lámina anterior. The girls always buy new clothes. También always puede uh, usarse al final dependiendo del contexto. Igual sometimes. Esos dos adverbios a veces pueden ir al final. Eh, pero casi siempre la posición correcta sería The girls always buy new clothes. Ok. Any other question? No questions. Okay, according to what we have in the um, platform, we are going to check a little bit more about fitness vocabulary. Can you see the letters there? Are you able? Are you able to read? Can you read? Yes. No. Maybe. Yes, teacher. Okay. Okay, so this is like a vocabulary for being fitness. Do you know what is fitness? Uh, when no, you are sure. next. Sorry? When you run in or go to the gym. Very good. When you care about your health, right? And you do exercise and things like that. Okay. No, vamos, a a vamos a ir leyendo uno por uno. Eh, no sé eh, qué les parece a ustedes. Siempre les voy a preguntar a ver qué, qué es lo que más les parecería. Podría ser que uno por uno vayamos leyendo, es decir, digamos, Carlos lee el primero, y vemos qué significa, si hay vocabulario nuevo, o yo leo y ustedes repiten para ver pronunciación. ¿Qué les parece más a ustedes? Leer. Cada quien que vaya leyendo. Sí, lo que, cuando, cuando usted, usted nos va diciendo, usted nos va diciendo para leer. Ah, entonces yo digo y ustedes repiten. Yo, no, no, nosotros que, leemos. Que cada ah, quien lee. lea y, y usted nos corrige en nuestra pronunciación. Exactly. 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 Let's do it that way then. Ok, Carlos, could you please read the first one? Ok, teacher. Be overweight. Head, excess body, weight. Fat. Very good. So, be overweight, when you say I am overweight or I am not or she is not overweight, it's like that. Have excess body weight or fat. Questions about this? Vocabulary usage? No questions. Jenny, could you please read the next? Okay. Uh, the second? Yeah, please. The second one. Uh, hot on way. Lo veo tan chiquito que, o sea, casi no lo sé leer. No lo alcanzo a leer. Okay, déjeme ver si lo hago un poco grande. Me avisa. Es que estoy en mi, te en mi teléfono. Uh -huh. Ah, sí, yeah, por eso a veces les pregunto a ver si se ve o no uh -huh. se ve bien. Ahí lo ve mejor. Little, little soon, teacher. Soon. No sé si lo ven bien ahí. Um, little. Okay. Sí, este es como que el más grande que tengo en este momento. I don't know. Jenny, ¿cómo lo ve? Lo alcanza a leer. Podría, y este, posteriormente podría, tal vez, teacher, mandarnos así como estas presentaciones al correo o algo para tener. Sí, claro, con mucho gusto, yo se las envío. Uh -huh. Ya se las puedo enviar. Perdón, y si le dan la lupa, no lo puede aumentar. Ahorita okay. estoy queriendo hacer eso. Eh, no, pero creo que lo te, eh, el teacher, creo que lo debería. Lo, ah. lo podría. En la lupa, ahí en las herramientas. Let's see. Y no, déjeme para después, teacher. Voy okay. ahorita a ver qué puedo hacer. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> ok. Sí, no que siga alguien bien. más y luego me da otro. Por. Ok. Let's see mm -hmm. here. That's too much, right? Ok. There? No sé si lo ven mejor, no sé. Yes, teacher. Better. Okay. Yes, it's better. Nice. It's good. It's better. Okay, Jane, can you Yes. Ahorita, hoy sí. 
Ya no veo la, presenta, la presentación, Chicho. No la veo. Bueno, está bien, vamos a continuar. Y yo se las mando igual al final en los screenshots. Uh, Brenda, could you please read the second one? Put on weight. Increase your body weight. Get fatter. Okay, very good. Put on weight is to increase your body weight. So, gain weight, something like that. Questions about this? Put on weight. Si hay alguna palabra que no entiendan o que quieran usar de alguna What mean father? Father yeah. is comparative. Father. Fat. Entonces, uh, eso, yeah. no sé si ya lo vieron. ¿Se recuerdan que vieron los adjetivos comparativos? Eso no. No, teacher. Ah, bueno, entonces lo vamos a ver más adelante. Pero sí, cuando tenemos esta parte acá que es ER, que es como el fat, que, que está... Esas dos letras ER es un comparativo. Eh, lo usamos como para más grande, en este caso como más gordo, algo por el estilo. Okay? Fire. Es como close, closer. Near, nearer. So that is the rule. Okay, the other one says, okay, it's for Erika. Lose weight. Reduce your body weight. Get slimmer. Slimmer, good. So that is to lose weight. That is the opposite. Reduce your body weight. Get slimmer. Do you have questions into that? Slim, do you know what is slim? Slim no. viene a ser como esbelto. Delgado, de buena figura. Slim. Uh, slimmer es como más delgado. Get fatter is como más gordo. Engordar. Okay, so, um, let me see who's next. Marcela, next please. Get fit, become healthy uh, through exercise. That is it. Get fit, become healthy through exercise. Questions about that one? Do you know what is to become? What is become? Como convertirse. Very good. It's like transform yourself, right? Become healthy through. What is through? Ese es difícil, la pueden decir en español, es bien difícil. A través. A través. Good. A través del ejercicio. Nice. Okay, the next is going to be for Omar. Okay, be, be fit, unfit. Okay. In good, bad, health, depending on exercise. Good. So here there are like two. Be fit and the opposite is unfit. Okay. Casi siempre ese inicio de palabra un con una palabra que ya existe es que no es. En este caso no es fit, unfit. Okay. And then it says um, in good or bad health, depending on the exercise. And el primero be fit is good health. Unfit, bad health. Okay? Questions? Say preguntas con confianza. Teacher. Yeah. I have a question. Go ahead. Um, unfit, un, para cualquier que no sea, es decir, cualquier, uh, cualquier, uh, uh, por ejemplo, uh, for, for example, Um, um, I'm fat, no. Sí, o sea, si usted está con sobrepeso, si no está saludable, si algo le pasa, usted puede decir, I am unfit. O sea, no tengo buena forma, no estoy en forma. Algo así es lo que viene siendo. I'm fit. Ok, teacher. You're welcome. Thanks. You're welcome. Ok, the next is for... Um, Brenda Sandoval. Okay. Can cook reduce boy fat and get more muscle deficit? Okay, so that is going to be tone up. And tone up mm -hmm. is to reduce body fat and get more. Esa palabra 
se dice muscle. ¿Qué pasa? Es un poco rara, pero pues that's the pronunciation, muscle. Reduce oh, body fat okay. and get more muscle definition. Ok. Ok. Eh, creo que se entiende, no sé si se entiende que es tone up, que es como tonificar, decimos en español. Right? Mm -hmm. So reduce body fat, o sea, bajar la grasa del cuerpo and get more muscle definition. Ok. The next one is going to be for Francisco. Getting to shape. Become healthy through regular exercise. That is it. Get into shape. Ponerse en forma, right? That is exactly what it means. And then it says become healthy through regular exercise. So this is like a program that you do when you want to, to get healthy. Nice, nice. Okay, the next one is going to be for Flor. Go on a diet. Go on a diet. Start a diet because you want to be healthier. Healthier. Okay, so go on a diet. It says start a diet because you want to be healthier. So when you, uh, it's not that you are not going to eat. It's that you are going to decide what is better for your body, right? That is it. And the other one is a little bit different. Uh, Esmeralda, please. Okay. Beyond a diet. Okay. Be in the process of diet. No thanks. I am on a diet. Very good. So be on a diet is like being in the process of dieting. Uh, and that is like an example when somebody says, would you like chocolate? No thanks. I'm on a diet. Right. Uh, ¿Se entiende la diferencia de go on a diet y be on a diet, right? ¿Es clear? Yes. Okay. Yes, it's clear. Nice, nice. The other one says, eh, eso que ven ahí, no sé si lo alcanza a ver, que dice STH, siempre que vean eso en los diccionarios o algo por el estilo, es something. Okay. So, the next one is going to be for... Uh, Beatriz. Perdón, lo que dijo eh, el que está es TH eh, significa something. Sí, por ejemplo, en este, en este caso, cuando usted va a leer cut out, tendría que ser cut out something. Ok. Ok. Okay. Good, good old, something, stop the consumption of something, sugar, smoking. Very good. So, cut out something. is when you stop the consumption of something, sugar, smoking. So, it's not a diet, but you, that specific food or habit, you are going to stop it. That is to cut out. Uh, Ustedes saben lo que son los phrasal verbs. Esto que tenemos aquí es un phrasal verb. Es un, uh, una palabra, es un verbo eh, que lleva también otra palabra a la par y dependiendo de esa otra palabra eso significa. Es como cuando decimos getting que no es lo mismo que get out o que no es lo mismo que get up el verbo es el mismo pero ya con la palabra que va a continuación cambia totalmente el significado eso se llaman phrasal verbs entonces poco a poco vamos a irlo viendo igual al final allá en el, en el al final del avanzado pues se ven mucho estos phrasal verbs ya como un topic ok pero si tienen preguntas también I will be here Okay, so the next one uh, is going to be for Brian. Cut down on something. Redu reduce your consumption of something. Eat less of something. Very good. So cut down on something. So this is not stop. This is to reduce your consumption of something. Okay. 
So you are not going to stop everything, but you are going to eat less, less sugar, less soda, things like that, okay? Preguntas con esto? Okay, the next one, let's see who else is this missing. The next one is going to be for Gerardo. Low handles, the excess fat at the size of your body. Yeah, this is a funny name for this one. Love handles is the excess fat at the size of your belly, right? Um, es como la llantita que tienen por ahí adelante. Bueno, tenemos todo, ¿verdad? So, that's why it's the excess fat. Um, the next one. A ver si me falta alguien. Creo que sí, Jacqueline. And the six pack. Also mean muscle, like a six pack of beer. De ahí viene, ¿verdad? Eso. Entonces sería a six pack, abdominal muscles, remember the pronunciation, muscles, like Mus a six pack of beer. Ok, creo que eso está bien claro. The other one is going to be for Daphne. If the gym, go to the gym to do exercise, informal. Yeah, this is very informal. You can say go to the gym or you can say hit the gym, okay? It's just to go to the gym and do exercise. Okay, the other one, este es bien común. Eh, a ver, si me ayuda, Omar. Okay, work out. Yeah, please. Work out uh, the various exercises to improve muscular strength. Very good. So to work out is to do various exercises to improve muscular strength. That is like do exercise. I'm working out, you can say. Okay. But we also have the other one. This is going to be for um, Brenda. A workout, a session is in which you work out. Okay, so this is a session, a period of time where you do some exercises. Okay, that is a workout. ¿Se entiende la diferencia entre workout y a workout, verdad? Okay, so the other one is for, let's see. Um, Gerardo, could you please help me with that one? Do weight. Mm -hmm. Lift weight in order to make muscle stronger. Good. Do weights. So when you do weight lifting, so you have or you make your muscles stronger. Nice. Aquí ven otra palabra con ER, ¿verdad? Que ese es el comparativo. Strong, stronger, healthier. Those are the ones. Okay, uh, let's see. The other one is going to be for uh, uh, um, Carlos. Okay, teacher. Do sit up and exercise to strengthen abdominal muscle. Very good. Do sit ups. This is an exercise to strengthen abdominal muscles. Strengthen. Do you know what is that? Anybody? Okay, strengthen is like become stronger. Fortalecer. Okay. Those muscles. Two more. Francisco, please. Do a squat. A leg exercise where you sit down and push up. Good. So those are, the name of that one is the squats. A leg exercise where you sit down and push up, right? So next time we're going to make exercise. And the last one, floor. To push ups using 
arms to push up from the floor with horizontal? While horizontal. Okay, very good. So do push ups is to using arms to push up from the floor while horizontal. Nice. Do you know what is while? Mientras. Very good. That is it. Meanwhile. You can say it also meanwhile. Or checking on to that one. Okay. So this is like a little vocabulary with some other words that maybe are new for you. So we can get into fitness uh, vocabulary and uh, into the uh, platform. Uh, do you have any questions by now? Alguna pregunta, duda? Teacher, yes. strength, strength y stronger son sinónimos. I'm sorry, I can barely hear you. Could you please repeat? Strength y and stronger are synonymous. Mm, the difference is that strengthening is like, uh, as you can see here, is like, um, cuando dice para fortalecer. So, when you say stronger, es un comparativo. Más fuerte que. So, the base form, la, la base forma de la palabra es como la misma, pero se utilizan en diferentes puntos. Pero Thank va muy relacionado. ¿Ok? No sé si le queda claro. Okay. Stronger sería como un comparativo. Comparativo. Stronger mm -hmm. es comparativo. Como cuando decimos worse than... Uh, cheaper than, more expensive than, that is it. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Any other question? Teacher, what's the meaning of belly? Okay, that is a good question. Belly is like uh, your stomach hit outside. The belly. Cuando decimos la pancita, la panza. That will be the belly. <laughs> Any other question? No questions. Okay, my friends. Okay, so this is like the first class. Um, we're going to try to do some other exercises and um, we're going to do some practices as well. Welcome again to the English class. Uh, tratemos de empezar los ejercicios, la gramática y en el... La plataforma, si tienen problemas, me pueden escribir. Si quieren ejercicio, me pueden escribir. Lo que necesiten, menos dinero, me pueden escribir. <laughs> I will be there for you. Okay? Um, okay, teacher. If there are no other questions, it was a pleasure. Good evening and see you tomorrow. Thank Good night, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Tomorrow. See you. Teacher. Yes. Yes. Perdón, que si no lo escucho enviar eso por whatsapp si sí, por supuesto yo les voy a mandar ahí los screenshots de lo que vamos viendo para que ustedes ok very good Gracias. it was a pleasure okay, see you tomorrow good night bye bye, bye. 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 bye.